like freedom, E-E-N-E-Y, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The first time I came to the Kerrville Folk Festival was for the New Folk Competition in 1989. And I won New Folk, which th should have meant that I was invited back to play, and I was. This year, 14 years later, I did a Threadgill show with my partner. Hi, I'm Chris Chandler, and I'm from Itinerant USA, and this is my... 12th festival. I've been coming here for 13 years, and this too was my very first time performing at the Kerrville Folk Festival. We did a Thread Guild show this year. This piece is called Carnivals, and the guitar is going to be in tune. Why did it sound so out when I hit it? I don't know. Here we go. We're rolling. times of great crisis, the world looks to great leaders, Winston Churchill, Franklin Roosevelt. But who did we get? Well, fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. This is a visit to Six Flags over Mecca, and the rides in this theme park are very, very dangerous. She flies through the air with the greatest of ease, the beautiful girl on the flying trapeze. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a genuine carnival of old. We have cabinet freak shows and foreign policy roller coasters, multinational corporate clowns, and phony media hype men pitching a rigged game that promised something of value but was impossible to win, leaving us to choose a cheap prize that no one really wanted. Forrest W. Gump, a tiny wind-up chicken hawk, standing on the trophy shelf to the extreme right of his father, Ronald Reagan, and Richard Nixon. Hey, you with the red checkered hat on, would you like to see what you've won? A world of adventure is waiting for you behind door number one. See the Puppet Show, the return visit from many members of the original cast. We have Dick Cheney as Elmer Fudd, Donald Rumsfeld as Yosemite Sam, and Elizabeth Dole takes the place of Jesse Helms in the role of just plain Goofy. For tonight's performance, the role of Clarence Thomas will be played by Al Jolson. Tony Blair plays Pluto. Mickey Mouse's vicious attack dog who seemed to have lost or maybe never had any genitalia. This show once featured Ronald Reagan as a marionette for big business, but now the same guy's had their hands stuck so far at the tight rectal sphincter of George W. Bush, they can operate this guy like a hand puppet. Thrills, spills, and adventure. You'll cry and you'll scream and you'll laugh. Take a peek behind the red door for only a buck and a half. Step right up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a shell game. Have the astonishing Ashcroft ask you which rock has Bin Laden hiding under? And as you stand there mesmerized, you find your pockets have been picked and your civil liberties disappear before your very eyes. While all around you cheap carnival hucksters cash in with t-shirts and say, God bless the USA. You were made in sweatshops in Bangladesh a Muslim country, while CNN asks, why do they hate us? Well, all around you, our whole culture is so distorted it can only be viewed from the funhouse mirror. Ha, 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 ha. But these days, when we look into the funhouse mirror, our reflection seems normal. For instance, our president claims that we were attacked because we are the beacon of hope and opportunity, but it has absolutely nothing to do with our desire to turn the world into a shopping mall, and our response should be to go out and buy more stuff. New flag for your SUV, 1995. New SUV, forty thousand dollars. Looking more patriotic than your neighbors, priceless. Would you like to buy a fire? We swear you will never grow old. It takes lines from your face. It gets you a date. It cures the common cold. Though elected by the overwhelming indifference of the American people, public opinion polls now show us generally divided between the patriotic and the jingoistic. Fifteen percent saying that the ability to find Afghanistan on a globe should not be a requirement for the commander-in-chief as long as we bomb someone. Twenty-three percent saying that failure to display a flag that does not cover the entirety of your house, lawn, and two-thirds of the sidewalk is signs of militant Islamic tendencies and is grounds for deportation, internment, and in truly egregious cases, that person should be forced to watch a Lee Greenwood concert. And I'm proud to be an American, or at least I think I'm free. To get six miles a gallon in my cool Jeep Cherokee And I will stand up 
and kick your ass if you're different than me. There ain't no doubt in no one's mind. I love my SUV. Yes, indeed, it's Forrest W. Gump. Chris is a stuttering, wider, bit of bad Ronald Reagan Western, using Ronald Reagan's best lines. We Americans now long for the golden comfort of the familiar as our president says, get back to normal. Go to Disneyland. This will show that we are truly the superior culture. While our mighty department stores and strip malls will homogenize every speck of variety, so the only sense of innovation left to us is new and different ways to export supersized blandness to every possible corner in the global theme park. Why, we could have the Hard Rock Cafe, Islamabad. At the food court, we may have trouble convincing Mexicans just what a Chalupa Supreme really is, but Taco Bell, it's the people's taco. Registered trademark. That's nothing compared to the McMuslim burger, a samosa with cheese, McHoof and mouth disease, and KFCIA. The bright lights make you dizzy as the big wheel spins you around. You can almost smell the heavens till the big wheel brings you down. We're going to smoke them out. Wanted. Dead or alive. You're either with us, or you're against us. So how are you going to pay for this war now that you've given all these tax breaks to your rich friends? You're either with us, or you're against us. Coincidence that Dick Cheney's firm got the contract to clean up Iraq? You're either with us, or you're against us. I don't know about you, but for my part, I'm thinking the guy with his finger on the trigger ought to be able to pronounce the word nuclear. It's like a mantra or a sing-along being sung by Disney-like mechanical heads of states operated by the wonderful Wall Street Wizards of Oz. Pay no attention to that corporation behind the flag. But no matter how many times they sing, ruin a perfect wilderness for a quart of natural gas, cut taxes for the rich and give the poor a bath, it always ends with the same old line, it's a small mind after all. St. Augustine? I can save this file and make it easier to give you short breaks if you're overheating. Um, well, I definitely want you to save that file. Just now? Before, yeah, before we start something else. Okay.